What's going on guys? What is going on? I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, Jasmine and patience, right? And I know that people get tired of me here, tired of hearing me talk about patience and stuff like that. But that being said, guys, I'm getting a lot of messages from people uh, and they're just like, hey man, like, you know, I'm stressed out because, uh, you know, stuff like Solana is pumping like crazy. And my altcoins and my portfolio is not doing anything, man. It's just sitting here the same. Why, what, you know, should I sell my Jasmine and move it into Solana? <clears throat> guys, guys, that right there, and I'm saying this with all sincerity, that mentality is how people get wrecked in crypto, right? That's how people lose money in crypto because it it's really boils down to a lack of patience, right? You really have to start to understand something that's very, very important, especially going into a bull run. Cryptos take turns pumping. Everything doesn't just go nuts at the same time. There's not liquidity in the market for that, right? You have to, you have, to have patience. Just because your projects are not pumping right now, and other ones are. I understand how that can feel, especially when it's your first time in the market, first uh, cycle. With that being said, guys, um, if you start doing something stupid, like selling into projects you've been DCAing into, like Jasmine, for example, and starting to put that money over into Solana after Solana's pumped as much as it has, guys, Solana's going to have a massive correction at some point, probably soon. It's pumping like crazy. It's pumping again today. At some point, it is going to correct. And with your luck, right, what's going to happen is you're going to buy into it. You're going to be exit liquidity for all the people who bought it when it was 40 bucks, right? And then here you are buying it at a little over 200 bucks, thinking you're going to, it's going to pump even more and you're going to jump in on this pump. And then what's going to happen? It's going to get, it's going to crash. And then you're going to be sitting there holding a, a Solana that's worth 70, 80 bucks because it crashed and you bought it at 200 and something, right? Instead, and then what happens is the project you sold out of, like Jasmine, to go into uh, to go into Solana, now that's pumping like crazy. And you missed your opportunity. That's how it works, guys. That's how people get wrecked. It's a story as old as time, right? FOMO will destroy you. And that is why that happens, guys, right? I understand you want Jasmine to pump. I want Jasmine to pump. Everyone that's holding Jasmine wants Jasmine to pump. And it will, guys. It will, right? I mean, I'm beside myself that I even hear people saying, asking me the question, is Jasmine ever going to come back again? Like, dude, it pumped like a week ago for like a month. Like, you guys talk, some of you guys talk like Jasmine hasn't moved in like a year or something like that. It just pumped 350%. Relax. You know, like, take a chill pill. You, you're going to have to, if this is your mentality, um, if, if every single day something's working up your anxiety and stressing you out and all that stuff, you have to get a hold of yourself. You have to. Or you have to leave crypto. One of the two. Because... Your emotions are out of control when it comes to crypto and you're going to get wrecked, right? You can't, you can't be that way in investing. You can't, every time you see some red, you can't be freaking out. Every time you feel like, you know, you want your, your crypto to pump, but it's not pumping. You can't, you can't be all worked up and upset about it, guys. Like you have to either leave crypto, get your emotions under control or put your portfolio down and stop looking at it every day, right? That's just the that's just the way that it's got to be. One of those three things you're gonna have you're gonna have to learn how to do, right? If your crypto is not pumping in your portfolio, if whatever you're holding is not running, but other things are, put your freaking portfolio away for a while. Put your phone down. Stop looking at it until the projects that you're in start pumping. Why are you stressing yourself out every day like this? It's crazy to me. It's absolutely crazy to me. But listen, guys, we just covered yesterday in the live stream. Big, big uh, announcement that we covered. Uh, the response from the team, they were asked in their telegram yesterday, you know, when when uh, 
when lockup, you know, when uh, when PDL, I get asked four questions, when lockup, when PDL, um, when innovation zone update, like all that stuff, right? All the important stuff that we want to know about, guys. So this is what they were asked. Oh, when when Junction, uh, when Jasmine Chain. Those were the four questions that were asked, right? And the team responded, guys. The team responded. If you didn't watch my live stream last night, the team had responded. And the response was as follows. And I quote, We have every intention of keeping our promises. End quote. So, their promises. What are their promises? Well, their promises are uh, Jankshin slash Jasmine Chain Layer 2 launching in March. The lockup happening in March, right? Innovation zone update. When are we leaving the innovation zone? That's supposed to happen likely next month, right? So they've made these promises and then they've gone ahead and acknowledged the fact that they have every intention of keeping their promises here. So that is an ultra bullish update, guys. You know, like if, if they were not, in my opinion, if they were not going to keep their promise or if they knew that they were behind or whatever the case might be, one would assume that they would be a lot more vague about their answer, right? That's just how I see it. They would have been a lot more evasive about giving a direct answer about it, but to just straight up come out and say, we have every intention of keeping our promise. That's that's huge, guys. That's huge. I can't, I cannot... Uh, I wish it was like balloons and confetti and an explosion behind me to show you how bullish that that makes me feel. But, you know, unfortunately I'm driving and I can't explode my car. So, <laughs> so yes, I mean, it makes me ultra bullish, guys, to hear that acknowledgement and that, that, that uh, concession from the team, right? Not from just YouTubers, not from some whack job on X making stuff up for clicks, right? So... Again, as much as I say it, guys, like patience, patience is key. Do I think that you should sell out of a project because it hasn't pumped yet and try to chase green candles into projects that have pumped, already started pumping or are currently in the process of pumping? Absolutely not, I don't think you should do that. I think that you should stay true to your convictions into whatever projects you believed in when you got started, right? If it doesn't matter what it is, Caspa, Jasmine, XRP, uh, Cardano, whatever, whatever it is, Manta, like whatever, right? If you, if the fundamentals of the project have not changed at all, why did you lose conviction? Simply because it hasn't pumped yet? Now ask yourself if that's a good reason to lose conviction and that you should move out of the project, especially if you're in the red right now, Right? doesn't make sense guys doesn't make sense right so i hope that you guys found some value here i hope that i can i really hope i can help steer a lot of newer people to crypto away from making these fomo mistakes that are going to end up costing you a lot of money not only because you're selling red to chase green and then you get wrecked in that aspect but also because once you sell You've also missed the opportunity on the project you initially were invested in because then it's going to pump after you sell it, right? Like, don't be that guy. Have patience because if you don't have patience, you only have yourself to blame at the end of the day, right? So uh, hit the like button, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, really would be awesome if you'd help the channel grow. Uh, help us get to 4,000 subs. That would be awesome doesn't cost you anything and it would really help us get con solid solid helpful educational content out to the masses guys uh it would mean a lot if you would do that click the subscribe button follow me over on x as well that's free and i'm trying to grow the x page out uh join the discord that's also free a lot of free stuff going on around here right uh, it's what we do, baby. It's what we do. The one thing that's not free, however, uh, if you want to, but it is only $4, guys. If you want to become a gem hunter, guys, click the join button down below. Um, you get uh, Sundays, we do uh, gem hunting live streams with the members. 
Uh, guys, just last yesterday, we, we found quite a few micro cap gems we looked at in the live stream. So if you want to become a member, you want to know what they were, uh, guys, the last couple that we've called, we've just freaking nailed them, right? Like we're talking 3,800% gains and stuff like that. Like you don't want to miss these opportunities for $4 guys. Trust me on that. Um, so click the join button for that for sure. And uh, yeah, I mean, fantastic opportunity, guys. Don't miss out, right? Sorry, I'm trying to park. I'm trying to park. All right, guys. So yeah, once again, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, guys. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.